Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, 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 go. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip, go. In Japan. I can just imagine what went through your heads when all I said was in Japan. I wonder what was the first thought in your head, right? But anyway, in Japan, streamers have decided to ban Guile's stage in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo from tournament play. You can no longer play on Guile's stage in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo in a Japanese tournament. <clears throat> Now, you might say, what? It's 2023. 2023. Super Turbo has been out for nearly 30 years. Why in the holy hell would they be banning a stage for tournament play in a game that's been out for 30 years? Is it because they found a huge game-breaking exploit? Is it because the stage runs at an improper speed, completely skewing competitive play? Are one of the Air Force people in the background flipping the bird and they just discovered that? No, none of the above. What's happened is the following. For some weird reason, when they go to stream their tournaments, when they're streaming Guile's stage, the streams are getting shut down for copyright infringement. Yes. And this just started happening. So they're doing Super Turbo tournaments and they can't stream the tournament because the streams keep getting shut down whenever Guile Stage boots up. And they're like, what? How could this be? This fucking game's been out for 30 years. Hundreds upon hundreds of Super Turbo tournaments have been broadcast. Why is this happening? Apparently, some company that does not own the rights to the song has claimed it across the fucking internet. They claimed it on YouTube. They're claiming it on Twitch. They're illegally claiming Guile's stage theme from Street Fighter 2 as their legal property. And they're shutting down everyone's content. Now, I know that sounds stupid. Because it fucking is. I've been arguing with you guys for years about this. Why do these companies, these broadcasting sites, and or file sharing uploading services, why are they violating copyright law? What I mean by that is that at any moment that one of these sites takes down someone's video or takes down a stream and says... Oh, copyright claim. If they did not vet the claim before they issued the takedown notice, they actually broke copyright law. Copyright law does not allow you to enforce the law without vetting. You can't do it. But YouTube, Twitch, all these places do it all day, every day. All right? They are under this weird premise. <clears throat> that they are completely protected by any kind of wrongdoing because there is a law in place that essentially says that these website, upload websites, file sharing websites, whatever you want to say they are, they basically are immune from any kind of prosecution or legal ramifications for something uploaded to their site. They're not responsible for what's on their site. However, they are required to have a formal process by which a content owner or copyright holder can identify and claim their own content and request that it get taken down if used improperly. And this is the problem with YouTube and Twitch and every other site that employs this, okay? They don't want to get sued. They don't really care if the content on their site is used properly or not. They don't give two shits. You want to know what they care about? As long as money is rolling in in some way, they could give two fucks what's on their site. But the moment that someone identifies something on their site as improper, whether it's, oh my God, it's actual a violent video of people hurting each other or, you know, hate crime kind of stuff, terrorism kind of stuff. Obviously, they don't want that on their site, not only because, 
you know, it could basically be identified as the reason why something happened that's awful, but it could be considered promoting said behavior. So they don't want to be responsible for that. They don't want to get into a big embroiled battle. They have. They've actually been sued over the last couple of years. There was just <clears throat> a case that went to the Supreme Court where apparently a teenager watched terrorism recruitment videos on YouTube and then actually went off and joined a terrorist organization and the parents sued YouTube and said if it weren't for you harboring these videos, our teenager would have never been brainwashed and our life wouldn't, wouldn't have been ruined and you're, you're, it's your fault. And it went all the way up to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court ruled that YouTube's not responsible. Okay? That they don't want to mess that, mess with that. They're not changing that precedent. But YouTube is required to have a system in place so that if someone says, hey, wait a minute, that video you put on your on your channel is mine. You stole my content. You didn't get my permission. You don't have legal right to do it. It's not transformative. I want that down. They have to have that ability on the site. If they didn't have that, then they would be legally responsible for massive cases of copyright infringement, all right? And they could be shut down, sued for damages and shut down. So as long as they have the system in place, they're legally protected, okay? <clears throat> the problem is the systems in place don't, aren't good. The system in place is rampant for abuse. It allows people to lie and say they own something they don't. And sadly, the YouTube or Twitch or whoever it is doesn't vet the thing. When I was streaming on Twitch, okay, I was streaming the Destroy All Humans remake many summers ago, like three, four summers ago, all right? All of a sudden, my stream gets shut down. What? Oh, we received a copyright claim. From who? Oh, the maker of the game. They claim they own the game and they don't want you streaming their game. What the fuck are you talking about? Prove it. I don't believe it. So, of course, I appeal it, and within a few hours, all the restrictions are lifted and I can stream again. They literally will shut you down first, and then when you say, no, this is bullshit, obviously it's someone trolling, then they fix it, right? On YouTube, it's even worse, because on YouTube, half the time, if they get fooled into thinking that a false copyright claim is real, you have to wait two weeks for it to clear up. Now, what if you get multiple strikes on your channel that are bogus? You could have your channel suspended or frozen and you can't stream and then you can't upload. That's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. But you're getting slammed with false stuff. And so, in this case, a video game that's been out for 30 years that Capcom has never claimed music from, people are getting shut down streaming the game because some asshole has erroneously loaded the rights to Guile's theme in Street Fighter 2 as their own. It's not their property. They're lying. But YouTube and Twitch and these other sites are dumb as dirt. And they grant the erroneous claim first and then make these, you know, streaming, uh, you know, companies or whoever are streaming the tournament, making them try to clean it up after the fact. That's fucked up. Right? I just don't get it. How? Why is someone not taking them to task for this? There's a difference between, okay, you can't be responsible for what's on the site. That I get. There's a law that says they're protected. Anything can be uploaded to the site. YouTube, Twitch, they're not legally responsible for the content. But if the law says that you are required to have a system by which people can claim and take down content that they have identified as their own property, if that system is on a daily basis massively misidentifying content and there is no proper vetting system for it because for example earlier this year people were saying that i was taking down videos on youtube all right that is completely false the only videos that i've taken down off of youtube are videos that are someone takes my like takes this podcast and rips it in its entirety and just reopens it to the channel no transformative work added whatsoever. <clears throat> nothing to add commentary or criticism. Nothing to make it fair use. If you're just ripping someone's pure raw content and re-upping, that's, that's theft. That's completely illegal. You don't have a legal leg to stand on. You have absolutely no rights to do that. All right? But the moment that you edit it a little bit and you change it and you say, here's what I'm criticizing. Here's what I think is bad about this or good about this or whatever it is, then it's protected. Okay? So... To me, 
I get it. All right? That's the only thing I would ever take down is if someone blatantly just ripped my raw content. That's the only thing I would ever even care about. And by the way, I don't care about it. It happens every day. I know it. I don't go after these people. All right? But right now, there's people supposedly impersonating me, putting false claims against people's content in my name. I contacted YouTube about it. And I said, this is happening. And they said, well, no, you have to understand we only grant claims that are that are true. And I was like, no, you don't. Because literally any claim you have on your site right now in my name is false. I haven't done any of these. Take a look at my YouTube channel. I haven't claimed anything. None of this is listed in my copyright claims queue. It's empty. So how can you say I'm doing it? Because here's evidence of people who said it's happened. And I gave them the evidence. And you want to know what YouTube told me? Well, you have nothing to do with it. But it's my name. No, you have nothing to do with it. This is between the person who gets the false claim and us. And if they have issues, they need to contact a lawyer and contact us. That's what they said. That's YouTube's attitude. So we don't want to deal with it. We don't want to clean up our mess that we've created with these broken copyright systems. If you have an issue, get a lawyer and have the lawyer contact us and start a lawsuit. And then maybe we'll look into it and fix it for you. But outside of that, don't even bother telling us about it. We want nothing to do with it. Well, someone's mass impersonating me. They don't care. They literally told me, we don't care. There's nothing you can do to fix the problem. It's not on you. It would be on us or between us and the person getting the false claim, and the only way they can get help is to get a lawyer. I was told this in writing. I, sh I showed you guys. I put all this on the internet earlier this year. It, black and white, this is what YouTube support told me. This is their legal explanation they're told to give to people who have issue with their copyright system. So right now, you literally cannot play Super Turbo and have Guile Steam in your video. It could be mis misappropriated as someone else's content and your stream will either you get shut down or the entire rights to your video and stream will be given to someone else who doesn't own the rights to the song just because YouTube doesn't care. Or Twitch or both. Right? How messed up is that? Right? It's ridiculous. And you can't... What do you now, now, just for the record, I want you to... Just so you know... I did look into getting a lawyer this year. I spoke with legal representation earlier this year, okay? And I almost went through with it. Almost. Want to know what stopped me? The cost. Because just the legal retainer to get a lawyer is ridiculous. Thousands of dollars just to get a retainer so that they'll do minimum work. And then you want to know what lawyers charge per hour? On average, around 200 to $300 an hour. For their work. I want you to think about that. Okay? So what YouTube is saying is, if you feel that we're breaking the copyright law by taking away your right to upload because we're saying the content that you're uploading is someone else's legal, you know, property, and you think that's wrong, get a lawyer and spend a minimum of thousands of dollars for a retainer and then hundreds of dollars an hour to file a lawsuit against us to get us to stop. So essentially what YouTube is saying is if you want to actually have the legal right to make content, you have to be rich. If this ever went to a court of law with a class action lawsuit, YouTube would lose. Or or Twitch or whoever. This is not legally sound. There's no way on planet Earth that that would be legally feasible. That we have a system in place that we blatantly admit we don't vet the content properly. And then when people tell us that it's wrong, we ignore it and say, get a lawyer, spend thousands of dollars for us to even look at it. It's It would never fly. Not only would YouTube lose the case, they'd then be found to pay all the legal fees for everyone who ever had to get a lawyer. All right? But the reason that people don't bother with it is because they don't want to bite the hand that feeds them. If you're a content creator who streams on Twitch or streams on YouTube or uploads to them, and then you get into a legal battle with them, likely they would not want you on their site moving forward and you wouldn't be able to make a living there anymore. You see? So, yeah, people don't want to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? So, it's pretty crazy to think about that. I mean, I know this is a wild news story. It's a 30-year-old video game and now people have to say we can't play this game because every time that we fucking play Guile Steam, the whole stream gets shut down or whatever. It's preposterous. 
But for some reason, we just keep allowing this to happen. No one's really taking YouTube to task for it. It's just, just accept it. Just accept the fact that YouTube will not abide by copyright law and continuously erroneously take shit down and we just have to deal with it. I, I don't think we should. But at the same time, I mean, I'm not the guy to do it. I'm not the guy to be starting lawsuits and stuff. I have no money, no time. I can't do that shit. But, I mean, hey, if this really is as rampant of a problem, which it seems like it is, I would be suing YouTube if it was something that affected me on a daily basis and it was ruining my business and my life. Yeah, I'd be banding together with other people across the internet to try to get this fixed. I don't know what else to say. I'll say this. If you're someone who's been negatively affected by this, if you're someone who your videos were taken down in my name, I didn't do it, all right? I'm, being, I'm, being, I'm telling you all guys right now, I'm being transparent. I'm not doing it. You should sue YouTube. It's the only way to fix the problem. You have to get a lawyer and you have to contact YouTube and with a lawsuit and say, this person is not doing it. They've outright said publicly they're not doing it. They contacted you and publicly disclosed the conversations where they said they're not doing it and you still don't care. So now we're taking you to court. It's the only way anything will ever change. Once YouTube loses a giant court case that's a, clo a class action lawsuit, then things will improve. But until that happens, things will continue. You know? But... I don't, I really don't foresee it happening. You have you'd have to be rich to do it. Who's going to have the money and time to do that, right? And again, I think the best case scenario would be to band together with others who've been very negatively affected by this broken system, right? Team up with the streamers who are trying to stream Super Turbo. Team up with the other companies who said all our content got shut down because of false copyright. Team up with all these people. Do a class action. Best way to go about it. You know? I was shocked. I was outright shocked earlier this year that I went to YouTube and said, I'm telling you, I'm the person. I didn't do any of these false claims. And I want this cleared up. And they refused. They said, there is nothing you can do. It's, it's not on you. You know, it's between the person with, who got the claim and us. And if they have an issue, they have to get a lawyer. That's what they told me. The outright black and white I have it documented. I saved the conversation. I was like, that's their solution. Wow. <clears throat> anyway. I got the drip gum. 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 Can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, so I'm gonna have to clear. Like, this is what I mean, these, these dumb kids. This is what it is, it's dumb kids.